Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a climate graph. Firstly, you need to insert all your data. This is the month. This is, uh, usually we do temperature here and precipitation here. Temperature, we measure it by, uh, we measure it by Celsius or precipitation, we measure it by millimeters. Always remember to include your, um, your units before, before doing it. Now, we, we click and highlight all the data we've been putting in. Click insert, click chart. You wait for a second. See, now you you can come here. If it isn't combo chart, or you need to you need to select combo chart. You can hover your mouse over it to see it says combo chart. Select this. Now, now you go to customize. Firstly. You need to write chart and ask these titles. Go to chart title and name it, name it whatever you want to name it. Now you need to go to chart subtitle and usually we put in our names, names and dates. And one dot four dot twelve. And now, now we go to series. Also, we um, usually we want the red line to be temperature and the blue bars to be precipitation. But how do we do that? Well, we click on this. We click on temperature and then select type it says columns but we want it to be line now see the bars change to a line now we want the line to be a reddish color which is supposed to be like this one and then we choose precipitation now we want this to be columns like this now see this is the temperature is red and the precipitation is also red and that is not good. We need to change this to another color. For example, we could change it to blue. That looks better. Also, if you want if you want um two scales for for, for these different lines, there's a way. Now you can go to you can go to um you can go to here for example, if we want the precipitation to be scaled to be on the right and the temperature scale to be on the left, we can click series, we change it to the left axis. So therefore, this scale over here is for the temperature. Now, if we want to uh, say precipitation, we want to change it to the right axis. See? Now, this uh, this scale here is for the red line, while this is for the bars. Now, what do we do now? We should we should label the the axes about what they are. So to do that, we click chart and axis titles again. Click click vertical axis title. Then we put in the information. It is temperature, and here it is. It appears. Now we want we want to click right vertical axis title to give this a a title, which is precipitation. Precipitation, and here it is. here it is. Now, now some final touch touch up points. Notice how this line can see see how it's um, not smooth. If you want it to be smooth, you can click style and smooth. And focus on the line. Look what it does. Three, two, one. Boom. It becomes smooth. If you want if you want to um, actually have um have some thoughts over it, you just have to click have to click series again. And then go to temperature, and you can see point size. You can have 
it is none here, but you can have two pixels, seven pixels, or maybe you can type something in yourself. For example, 4px. That would do. And you can also change the point shape of it. But usually we use circles. For example, you can use triangles, you can use X marks, but usually we use circles. Uh, one last thing. Now, if you, uh, if you want to change the scale, you need to click vertical axis, put in the minimum value, it is, uh, and uh, see it's vertical axis, and usually vertical axis means less vertical axis, which is this one. And this one's for temperature. Usually it is negative 50 to 250. The precipitation scale, we click right vertical axis, put in the minimum value, usually we use 0 and 400, like this. Um, well, it might look a bit dull like this, and but usually, uh, but sometimes uh, in some places like Amazon, you can have the precipitation rate really, really high, almost to 400, so that's why we have such a large scale. And now it is basically done. Thank you.